everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got the um, third project from the three that I was doing from um, all those stamping up um, goodies that Kaylee from Create with Kaylee sent me. Um, so this is the last one. I'm down to the last few sheets of my um, paper. I think I've got about, from that paper pack, probably maybe four or five sheets left. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've done and then I've had to make a few little tweaks with one of the flowers because I literally did run out of that particular colour paper, but it still looks fab. So this is a really nice reinforced box. It is four and a half, maybe four and three quarters, can't remember. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> um, but basically it's got really nice half inch and reinforced lid and then it's a one inch um, box. But inside it has all of these lovely little note cards. So these are four by four note cards. So they fit perfectly. You see the envelopes at the bottom there? And there are six. So this box will hold six note cards with matching envelopes. And if I just bring one up here for you to see, there we go. You can see all the gorgeous detail that I've put together with these cards using lots of the dies, some stamping, just, yeah, just had some fun with this and they are gorgeous. So I've got two of each. We've got two with Oh Hello Friend. We've got two with Missing You. Um, so that's the other Hello Friend. And then we've got two with Your, um, your Just Lovely. There you go. And they're all slightly different shades because they've come off one sheet. All this backdrop here, the back um, background paper has come from one sheet of the one with this on the other side. So it's this piece here and it's just this kind of like um, blended background. So each each card is slightly different. So they're more greeny and these ones here are more obviously navy and so on. So that's what I've used for all the cards. And then inside they're just blank because they are a note card. So you can write a nice message in there if you wanted to turn it into um, Oh Hello Friend and then you could put just a note or anything like that. Obviously you can add all those bits to it. Got the envelopes there as well, which I'll show you how to make. And then these ones, I'm just sitting them on top of each other. So they're kind of like, um, you know, alternated. So they all sit perfectly and they don't really crush each other like so. And then the top one fits perfectly on top. And then it's got a really nice snug closure there with the lid on top as well. So this is using, for anybody that's not watched the first two tutorials, this is using all of the um, product from the Oh So Eclectic um, uh, stamping up paper pack and matching dies and stamps and pretty much the inks as well because I'm using Night of Navy today and Garden Green from stamping up as well. So let's start making them. So first of all, I wanna show you how I made the little note cards. So I'm gonna show you one. I've already prepared all of my ones for this box that I'm gonna be doing. These just make lovely gifts, they're really, really nice um, and obviously good to sell as well. So I've done loads in there. The one I've got left to make today is Oh Hello Friend. So you will need a, where did I put it? I've got everything on my board here. So I'm gonna take off the card stuff first and then that's everything for yeah, that's all for the box, so I'll use all that again in a minute. So this is just a 4x4 four four note card. You can cut this down from a piece of card that's 8x4 and then just score it 4 inches through the middle. These are just pre-bought ones, um, so they worked really well for this. And then I've got this to mat on top. So again, I've just chosen one that's got a bit of the green and a bit of the navy there. And this piece here measures at uh, 3 and 7 eighths of an inch squared. Okay, so again, once that's matted on top, it just gives you a nice little one eighth of an inch little frame there all around, all four sides. That's going to go on top. Then I've got all my pieces that I've done here and I'm going to do some stamping um, with you. I've just made um, little um, bows here using the um, matching ribbon. So this is the, where's the um, finely woven ribbon. And this colour here will be, because on the back of all of the paper packs it tells you all the corresponding colours so here we've got berry burst emerald envy fresh fig lemon line twist night of navy peekaboo peach soft sky and whisper white would all go with these patterns and stuff from the paper pack um so this one here i think is the berry burst i believe it doesn't say on the front or does it so you can tell oh yeah it does berry burst there you go so <laughs> i done all right there didn't i, I didn't even realize it Okay, so that's the ribbon I've used. It's gorgeous ribbon, really, really nice. Um, so I've done one of them. Then I've got my, that was it. I'm gonna do all the rest with you. So we're gonna start building this because I'm just showing you the bits. That's actually for the lid of the box. So let's crack on. So first of all, I'm gonna stick this okay. down. Just make sure you give yourself a nice, even 
little border there like so. Then we need to start building up all these lovely little bits and pieces here. So with the um, die, matching dies here, and these ones are called Eclectic Layer Thin Knits. And just take out, I've got some stuck at the bottom. There we go, that's the one I'm looking for. So first of all, I'm gonna die cut this big one. Um, and this is this shape here. Now, I've actually cut all around the outside because what this one does is it leaves the die cut in your paper rather than cut it out of the paper. So, so I'm using this stripy piece here and I've just already kind of cut it down roughly so it all fits perfectly there. I'm just gonna run this one through my machine. I'm just gonna put a little shim over the top there because there's so much detail in this one. I just wanna make sure I get a nice okay, case. So you can see there, see it leaves this wonderful design in your paper, but I actually want this piece cut out. So all these little bits here, what I did is I've saved them all and I put them all into a little um, container because I've obviously die cut one for the lid of each box, so that's two, and then for each of the six note cards. So that's 14 of these I've cut. I had so many of these little pieces. I've put them all together and now they're great for a shaker card. So again, if you are ever doing anything like this, don't throw these pieces away. They're actually really handy. And um, again, I could do any color um, card with this because there's so many colors in those pieces. So I'm gonna transfer these across here just so they are safely stored and I can use them for later on. And then with this piece here now, just with some of my snips, I'm just going to just carefully just go around and I want to cut the same width that in, is in the pattern inside there. So if I just do this outer piece here, let me just show you what I've done. Like so. i just bring that up. You can see what I've just cut just here. I'm just going to go around and just do that all around that outside. And it just gives you a really nice... Okay, so there cut. you go. You've just now got this really nice die cut. So that is going to be my kind of back layered um, piece to decorate the front of this. So that's going to sit kind of like that. It fits perfectly. I checked before. It's going to sit on an angle across the card like so. So now I need to do a little bit of um, Okay, so stamping. I'm using the corresponding stamps here. So I'm going to take out the leaves and this big flower here. And then I've already die cut my sentiment, which is this one here. So it's just the Oh Hello Friend, and that was stamped with the Knight of Navy. Okay, so I've already done that one. So this one here, I'm going to first of all stamp using, um, just grab some of my scrap card here. And this is going to be, because these are obviously the leaves, I'm going to use the Garden Green. So just ink that one up. And I love the finish that this stamp gives you. So if I just do that one and I want, um, I need one there and then I need, I've already done the three for my lid. So obviously you'll need one on each card. So you'd need to stamp six of these and then three for the, the top of the box, um, the lid there. So that's another three. So what did I say that was the so six? That's nine in total you would need to stamp of these, but I just need to do the one for this card here. Um, also what I will do is just remove that one and I will also stamp the flower. So that's this one here and I've done it in Knight of Navy. Get all the stamping done. So again, it's just got a really nice, I love that look um, of like that faded, faded look about it, I really like it. So that's those two stamps, get rid of that one. And then this one I need to fussy cut because the die for this one is actually for this Piece here so I'm going to fussy cut that there is a die for the um, the leaves there so I'm just going to cut this one just so get rid of that I don't know why I've done that and then I'll just cut roughly I want to give it a nice white edge so I don't want to go too close because I'm going to be doing that in a bit more detail in a second okay so this one here the die is this one like I said this one here doesn't fit that it's smaller it's to fit this and to die cut separately. So, and that will give you this one here, which I'll be showing you shortly. So 
grab my plates and just pop this one in place. And just run that one through. Okay, and now we have, we'll pick it up, a really nice little leaf. So that's all ready. So that one's going to go on there. I'm going to fussy cut that one in a minute. I'm going to get these, uh, yeah, this one done here. So the I've got the, the last piece, literally. So this is where I used up everything. So this piece here is the this colour, this flower here that I've I die cut it all from that. So the reverse is this pattern here. This is what I was looking for before. This is what I, I die cut these from the pattern of these but the stripy one that I just showed you just now worked well for it as well so the sheet of 12 by 12 with this pattern on there is this plain um, color on the other side and that's what I've used to make these ones here now that is the last piece I have left and I need to die cut with these so this one and this one but I need to die cut this twice and obviously I've got none left so I found the stash of this really crazy um, kind of holographic um, card but it actually works quite well and the one I'm going to do for the lid is this one here and you can see now when it's die cut and it's got a heart there that kind of pops up so this isn't stamping up I've literally run out the last kind of project I just I've used so much paper um, to make these cards so yeah you will use this um, and die cut this twice but obviously for the purposes of the video I've got this piece here so I'm going to run through this one first, so you need to do it twice. So this is the last piece. I love this card. Really, really lovely. So let's take that one off. So there you go. Then I need to die cut it again. So grab this piece here. Obviously you'll use that same colour that you've got. Like so. So there's going to be one card that's going to have this shiny flower. So now that's done. So finish with that die. And then what I want to do is with this one, is you then go over this one again and just find where it sits, like so. Again, pop that over. Again, this is such a detailed little die. By adding that piece of card on top, it just means I get a really clean first cut. Okay, so now you can see all these just fall out and I've got this really cool little kind of topper and this is going to sit over the top of this piece here. Okay, so now that's what I've got and you can see how great it looks in that textured card. And now that will sit perfectly over the top like so. So I'm just going to stick that down and then I can fussy cut my flower. Also what you need to die cut is three of these tiny, tiny little leaves, <clears throat> excuse me, which are this one here. You've got an embossed one as well, but you want to use the one that die cuts. And you want to die cut three of them in gold. Um, and then obviously prepare your butterfly, your butterfly, your bow. Why I was saying butterfly. Okay, so this piece, just work out what side it all needs to go. And just turn that one over, make sure it's all nicely stuck down. Once the glue sets and it's all dry, um, you can pick off or rub off any glue that may show through on that um, mirrored card there. But there you go, so you've got a lovely little flower. So I actually do really like that, but obviously it's not um, stamping up. So that's that one. And then I'm going to fussy cut this one here. So again, just using my snips. And as I've shown in lots of my live crafting that I do, um, and a couple of my tutorials, when you fussy cut, really all you want to be moving is your left hand. The hand with my scissors doesn't actually move, it's the hand, my left hand, that's doing all the work. So you can just go around there and I'm literally just leaving a very, very, literally like millimetre or two little white edging there. And that just, is you're always best leaving a little bit of a white edge because if you're not, you know, very kind of... Um, stable doing this and you're a bit wonky and stuff by having the white edge it, it hides that whereas if you try to cut this out perfectly even I wouldn't get it looking great 
and you'd have bits of white showing on one side and then maybe not on the other and it's just yeah you're better off doing it like this and I'm not going into every single little bit just roughly and there you go so how quick that was so that's that piece done and then that's going to sit and then I've already pre-cut my little tiny tiny if I can pick them up here I'll just bring it all the way down I've got three little gold here and these are going to sit on my card along with my little sentiment and then my bow so what you can do is again just grab a little bit more glue here and again with these really detailed dies I'm just going to run that over and get that covered Okay, and then like I said, you're going to sit that down on an angle, like so. And then I've put these, these, yep, yeah, these are on little foam um, squares. So I'm just going to take off, just cut, let's cut these ones here. So I get one, two, get one for the back of this, one for the okay, back of this. Okay, so this one trying to remember how I done the other one really it's kind of like that it's about just looking here I've got this pointy bit and then it comes down so I've got the pointy bit and it comes down there so it's roughly that and then this one I'm going to stick and this one sits underneath so again kind of like so each one's slightly different but again that's what's so nice about it and then this big green leaf, I'm just going to put some glue just kind of on the bottom two there. I want the rest of it lifted. See that's all lifted. It's only the bottom ones that are kind of upright. So if I can kind of feed that in a bit. Mm, I'm going to just trim the edge because I do want it to go in a little bit further than it actually has. There we go, that's better. Just stick that down. And then I'm going to pop my little bow here. And I always find using your um, foam adhesive much, much better than any other, you know, glues and things like that, because this sticks really well so, to the fabric. That's sitting in the corner of the both the flowers there. And then I've got my little sentiment, which again is going on some more foam. So I'm just going to use that other piece. And it's only little bits, tiny little bits of glue, I'm not going heavy with all the adhesives and stuff. It's such a delicate little card, you don't need to. Although I am struggling to take off the tops of my tape here. I think this is a bit of a cheapy one there, I don't want to use that one again. And then the sentiment's sitting over the bow, okay. And then you just want to sit all of these lovely little gold leaves, just kind of I'm going to trim this one down a little bit. A little bit of glue there and that one's going to sit down coming out from the bow and then the rest I've got one coming out under here and then I've got one under there and there you have it so that is a really nice little note card or birthday card obviously you can just change the sentiment I just think that's really pretty and I love these little clusters that you can kind of make up beforehand and then obviously you know you could make all that together and stick it all as one separate piece and then you know keep them away and then when you want to make cards you just take that whole cluster out and stick it on your card and there you have it. So you now want to go and do that six more times. <laughs> obviously you can just do it once, you could have this on a nice six by six card that would make a beautiful just singular, singular, singular card. Yeah. So that's that one done. Now I'm going to move on to the box and actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack on and decorate, do the piece first. So this piece here measures four and a half by four and a half and this is this one here. Basically it's the exact same composition, so it's the same little cluster just minus the sentiment. But you could have a sentiment on here if you wanted to. So again, kind of play around but it's exactly the same. I've just used two more extra of these leaves. So I've got three of the green leaves as opposed to just that one because it was a bigger area that I was covering. So my piece here that I've cut, I've already got here. So, so I've got a big green one. So again, that's gonna sit like so. Then I've got my three leaves here. 
there we go and then I've got my fussy cut flower I've got my completely glittery shimmery shiny um, flower there um, I've got my ribbon ready to do my bow and I have got three more of those little gold there they are these kind of I keep losing them there they go so I'm going to just go ahead now and get that all okay, stuck so down now that's my decoration for my lid all done so now we can move on and make the lid so I'll keep that all oh, let's just pop that over there for the minute so for the lid and for the base of the box you're going to need one piece of uh six and three quarters squared okay bring that down sorry there six and three quarters by six and three quarters for the lid and then for the base i've got a piece here of nine and five eighths of an inch squared okay so first of all let's uh yeah no, yeah let's crack on yeah <laughs> i don't know why it's such a hard decision so let's you want make to base. score at one and a quarter two and a half seven and one eighth of an inch and eight and one eighth of an inch okay. okay and then just rotate your card and do the same again then we'll just score the lid as well while we're here so again so scoring along let me just line up my lines there we go so scoring along the six and a half well they're all six and a half but pick one of the sides and you want to score at half an inch one inch five and three quarters and six and a quarter okay then rotate your card and do the same measurement again and then you'll have this grid effect like so and again that grid effect like that so let me just get rid of this scoreboard and then what we can do is first of all we'll just burnish all of our score lines on the lid and on the base okay so all my score lines are now burnished we can do some cutting so i'm going to do the lid first of all so again pick a side and you want to cut down this is just the same i think i make these nearly every tutorial a nice reinforced lid so you just want to cut the two there so you're cutting down you can see you've got these four little squares just cut right down there and turn it on its side you're going to cut this one completely out okay and then cut that one off so you're just left with this one little square then just go around and just tidy off all the edges so i'm just kind of notching off these two main sides here and then just make this little one more of a tab shape like so okay so then on this same one here i'm just going to cut straight down like so and again turn it on this side cut that out completely and then cut that one out so again you're left with that little square and then again just tidy off those little edges so just cutting little notches out and again, little wedges off of both of those there. Okay, so if I put it against the blue, that is what you will have. Then rotate the whole way around so it's now facing away from you and just repeat that again, just as I did before. Okay, so that is now my lid all done. Then you wanna do your base and cut it exactly the same way, but it's just bigger. So here we've got those four bigger squares. So you're gonna cut all the way down like so again all the way down like so so you've got these two like that rotate it cut that piece out completely and cut that one like so so you're left with that square and then again just tidy up the edges and just go around and do all the rest now just as i did okay with that and that is now what you will have you know looking uh, that's what you'll have for your base <laughs> mumbling all my words there you go, you've got your lid and your base. So I'm gonna do the lid now first. So with some glue, you wanna pop some glue on the tops here of your tabs. Just do one side first and then fold it down and then bring down the sides of your lid here and just hold that in place. I can see some of the glue kind of coming out the sides there, which is good because then I know that I've got my join and it's all nice and kind of stuck right up to the edge there you want to get a really nice bright angle and a real nice corner sharp corner again then bring this one down and bring that side down with it and again once it's in place just hold it there between your finger and your thumb so you get a really nice seal and it's nice and stuck and just repeat that on these two and fold those down okay, as well so that's what you will now have then just move that out of the way inside of the outer long pieces here just put some glue and you don't need too much just enough to stick it fold it over turn it up on its side and with your bone tool just rub it over there 
and you can get a really nice sharp edge and obviously that will all be stuck down because all of that glue will then get kind of spread out by the pressure of your bone tool like so you can see now I've got a really nice side so again go around to the next one put some glue in this one and just do that for all of your three sides okay and there is your little reinforced lid really easy now grab your base you can do exactly the same thing again so this is the bottom that's going to be the inside so you always want this side facing up pop glue on your tabs so again just do two at a time okay and then bring it down and fold up the side and just hold it in place and again bring that one down and over and just repeat okay, that so again stuck down again and then you just want to put glue in there and fold in all okay, those sides and there's my base so now your lid will fit really nice and snug over the top because we've reinforced the lid um, you get that just that really nice like I said you can kind of hear I always say you can feel like the air being pushed out of it that means you've got a really nice closure so there is just a lovely little box as well so it's perfect for necklaces earrings things like that bracelets then we can grab this piece here which is going to sit on top and will give you a really nice little frame so I'm just going to put the same glue just again just lightly around the edges just to kind of stick it in place you don't need to go crazy a little bit through the middle and then just sit that one okay so that's now nice and secure so again just a lovely box on its own now um, we just need to obviously adding our um, cards and envelopes but I need to make the envelope so because they are four by four um, cards using the envelope punch board the four by four card size here you need a piece of paper that's six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths of an inch your first score line is going to be at three and a half so I've already got my paper prepared here in the size so again three and a half so you pop it in line it up to three and a half punch and score then I rotate it so now I've got that piece at the bottom and again put it in at three and a half you don't have to do it this way it's the way I prefer I find I get better results um, and punch and then I then line up this score guide with the score line so ignore the three and a half now you're just lining this piece up with your line there punch and you want to get it perfectly lined up there so I know now I've got a square coming on rotate it again line up that line if you want more um, you know to see in more detail how to make envelopes I'll share the little link up here um, and that take you to my um, envelope um, tutorial that I've done using this board so there is my envelope so now obviously you want to do that six more times so you've got an envelope for every card um, just pop that there to one side and then all you want to do is just carefully because this is just thin paper um, I need to tidy up that edge there actually oh no I'll hide that one didn't punch it very well actually I'm going to just tidy up some of these edges I think my trimmer's uh, on its way okay, okay, that's better. so then I'm just going to have this one here and then these two we're going to stick over the top so this is going to be my um you know <laughs> where it, oh, what am i saying seriously i don't know what i'm saying this is my top this is the bottom so all i'm going to do is just run some double-sided tape just down that side there and again this side here peel this one off first Stick that one down so it just sticks onto the top there and just take off my backing there oh I've got a bit of fluff anyway it's disappeared now you won't see it and there you go and there is really easy quick envelope okay so again you need to do that six times but I've already got all of that ready now so I've got my other five here all ready to go like so I've added my other card that we made earlier on top there and then grab my, oh that's the other one, grab this one here and they will all sit, obviously the size is to fit the envelope because that's bigger and then obviously those note cards fit in perfectly and there you have it. So thank you again Kaylee. Um, it was really nice of you to get in touch and send me um, the products, um, I've thoroughly enjoyed um, you know, making with them and I've still got a little bit left of the paper so and I think I'm going to purchase some more anyway um, and as I've mentioned in my other tutorials please go to Kaylee. Um, I'll share all of her um, social network links um, below and her website and if you do want to purchase any of these products today um, I will 
obviously give you all the details to go through and get them from Kaylee. So thank you again, thoroughly enjoyed this, hope you've all enjoyed it, thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye!